What's up guys, I'm Ben and this is Kame Trick coming to you through the power of the computer internet. On my channel, we normally play with this drift car, but today we're going to be building my new 4K video editing and gaming computer. If you are considering building a computer and you wanna size up the process, this is the video for you. It'll give you a conceptual overview of how everything goes together. Now, the first thing that you have to do is go to your preferred retailer and accept the build a computer quest. And once you've done that, bust out your trusty hammer and go over to your forge. All right, seriously, this is uh, how I build my computers. So we start with the case. We are going to pull the sides off the case. Then once that is done, personally, I like to uh, take a look at how the case is laid out and pull out any uh, peripherals that I want to change. So I'm pulling out the drive trays for SSD and hard drive disks. And now I'm taking out the uh, bay holder there. Next up, this is a piece that lets you mount your graphics card in a different location than uh, directly in the board. I'm not going to be using that, so we'll pull that off. And next, we start with the motherboard. So I'm using an MSI uh, X470 Gaming Plus and it's just a, a nice board. So we're gonna lay that out, and next we're going to lock the CPU down into place on that board. So depending on what board you get, there's basically some sort of lever that you're going to open, and you're gonna take your CPU, and it'll have a little mark that tells you which corner to position it in, but you'll see it slides in like that, and then you lock it in after you make sure it's down, by pushing the lever back down. Next, we're going to have to get it ready to put a heat sink and a fan on top of that. In my case, I need to change out the brackets because I'm going with an aftermarket uh, cooling fan. And if you wanna see me talk a little bit more about those components, you can check out a video in the description or this card where I uh, show you basically an unboxing and talk through my rationale for the parts that I chose to get. So with that all tightened down, I'm now ready to put my cooling tower and fan assembly on. For this particular one, you do have to take the fan off in order to get to the screws that are gonna hold it down. And then once that's ready, apply your thermal paste. Typically you wanna apply about a pea-sized dot to the center of the CPU. And then when you squash the uh, cooling tower down onto that, it's gonna spread that out evenly. So we will seal that back up. That's gonna go down, make sure everything is in and then tighten it up. And at that point, we can clip the fan back on. So that has that ready to go. We just have to power it. This is where you use those diagrams to figure out where you need to plug it in. Next, we're going to install the RAM. So we're gonna look up the position that you need to use. It's in the manual that comes with it. I'm not going to cover that. It just pops into place like so. And then the I.O. port. So this is going to basically just make your input output uh, holes A labeled and B covered so that less dust and stuff gets in there. So snap that guy in and then we're going to position the board and tighten it down. There's about eight screws. We'll just show the one. Next, it's time to install the GPU, the graphics card. It takes up two slots, so we're gonna open those up. Click open the holder. Mm, that plastic sound. This is a uh, nice RTX 2070 card from Gigabyte, and it slots down in there. You have to give it a pretty firm push once you're sure everything is tightened in. There we go, and then we screw it down. I do like to check and see if it has very much wiggle and support it, if so. In this case, I didn't think it needed it. Next up is the power supply unit. In this case, it goes in the bottom. Your case will generally show you where those are supposed to go. So we'll tighten that in. And that's the hardest part. After that is plugging everything up. And this process does take a little while because you're gonna be looking at the diagram that came with your motherboard and more or less figuring out where everything plugs and uh, what all to plug in. So that's the main power for the board. 
here is main power for the CPU. In my case, this board can support two cables. So we're using both of those just in case. And then of course the other side's gonna plug into the power supply and it is labeled there. Next up comes power for the graphics card. You do wanna hold the back of the graphics card when you push these in so that you're not torquing the motherboard real hard like that. This is a pretty good graphics card, so it's got two uh, power cables. And then we're going to plug in power for our hard drives. This build is using a one terabyte solid state for the operating system, any games and editing gear, and then a six terabyte disk hard drive for all the footage and backup. Next, we're gonna be loading the hard drives into the bay. This particular case comes with slots that let the disks or uh, solid state drives slot into the case real easily, which we'll see shortly. But basically there's holes on them and you line them up and use small screws provided with the case to lock them in. Next I am getting the data transfer cables plugged into the motherboard and I'm going to feed them through to the other side of the case because for this particular case the hard drives can go on the back. I think that looks a little bit nicer so that's what I'm doing. Now we plug in power, we plug in the data connection and we snap them into place. There goes my primary drive and here goes my massive backup disk and this is again going to be for footage and things I don't need to be retrieved quite as quickly. Pop that in. And now the funnest part, pulling the uh, adhesive covers off of the glass and looking at this beautiful machine. We'll snap the front cover back on and shortly we'll be firing it up. That's the process, and uh, then we'll take a look at these beautiful RGB colors. There you have it. It looks great. It runs great, and I can tell you because I edited this video on it, it edits great as well. Thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, leave me a comment, and consider subscribing. I will see you next week. Peace.